In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create a page curl effect just like this one. The first thing to point out is how this page curl has been constructed. You can basically see two shapes here, a circle and a triangle. And they're the two key shapes that we're going to use to create this effect. So let's just go onto a blank page. The first thing I'll do is drag a photo on. I'll just make this a bit smaller. And then I'm going to draw my two shapes, and I can draw that using the quick shape menu at the top. So my first shape is going to be the circle. And I'm actually going to hold the shift key down to draw a perfect circle here rather than an ellipse. And the second shape I want to draw is that of a triangle. Now you'll see from the quick shape menu there isn't a triangle there, but if you choose the quick polygon, Once you've brought this on, you can actually adjust the number of sides this polygon has with the slider at the top. And I can drag that right down to three sides for a triangle. Now just to make this easy to look at, I'm going to make this triangle green. Now what I need to do with both of these shapes, if I zoom in, is make the triangle just as wide as the circle, so I can shrink that down using the handles around the outside and then I want to kind of sit the triangle on top of the circle so the sides of the triangle are just catching the edge of the circle there now if I just bring this circle to the top it might make it easier to look at now the next thing that I do is select both these objects together by drawing a big box around them like that and then I actually want to get an idea of how I'm going to position this page curl onto my image here. So I actually want it to come in from the bottom left hand corner. And then you can use the handle at the top to rotate this around a bit. So I think I might want my page curl at around that angle. Now once I've decided my angle here, I'm just going to drag this off again. And I'm actually going to make another copy of this object. And I'm just going to hold down control and drag another copy of that object across. Now the reason for creating two copies is I'm going to want to do slightly different things with both of these. For the first one, if I select both of those again, I want to combine these so these are a single shape. And the way to do that is to go to Arrange, Join, and Add. Now for this one, I'm going to do something different. I'm going to select them both again, but this time go to Arrange, Join, and subtract. And I think you can tell that this is actually going to form the top of my page curl, this shape here. Now if I just zoom in a bit, you can see that if this was the top of my page curl and I just actually put it on the edge of the photo there, that doesn't necessarily look quite right because the photo would actually start to curl up a little bit before it goes all the way over. And that's actually why we've created this other shape. Now if I was to drop this on, and zoom in here, this is actually the line that I want my photo to take, so I actually want it to curve up a bit and then have it cut all the way down there in the corner. So the way I'm going to achieve that is firstly by selecting the photo, and then I'm going to get my scissor tool, and I'm actually just going to make a straight cut, holding the shift button, and I actually want this cut to meet my photo at this point here and to finish where that edge of that circle is touching the bottom of the photo like that and then once I've made that cut I'm going to discard this bottom corner of the photo now if I get my select tool again I'm actually this time going to want to select both of these objects so I'm going to select this wedge here and I'm going to hold down shift and select my photo and now I'm going to go to arrange join and add and you can see that that rather than just having a straight edge all the way down has got a straight edge now but ha actually has this curved edge just down there now I can actually grab the other piece of the page curl from down here I actually need to send that to the front and I can actually just align that on the edge of the image and you can see that kind of effect that I've achieved there with this page curl. Now of course this page curl shape 
we can make any color we like. But actually I want to add some shading to this page curl. So I'm actually going to make it white to start with. And then I'm going to use an effect using my fill tool. So by selecting my fill tool, you actually get a number of different fill options you can use. And I'm going to use my conical fill. Because if you like, this is in effect a cone that we've got here. So we can use the conical fill to get a really realistic cone shape. Now the way that this fill works is that you've got different color points in a circle that you can choose. And you can change the color of these. So if I had to select this point at the top, I could make that black, for example. And as you can see, this then gives a smooth fill all the way around to white. And if I just move off that, you can actually see here I've got this cone shape in the middle. Now, that isn't actually the position I want the center of my cone. The center of my cone needs to be in this corner here. So I can drag the center of this conical fill, move it all the way to the top there, and now I want to drag this point around to be in the middle of my cone. Now, by default, the conical fill only has two points, but I'm going to add another point here and you can just do that by clicking on the line and I'm going to make the color at this point black and there you can see the effect that's created it does now look like a cone and you've got complete control to move these points around and you could reposition exactly where you want that sheen if I just wanted it more towards the top than the bottom and that there has created a nice realistic cone shape for my page curl. Now just to take it one stage further than this, you may also want to add a little bit of shadow under the page curl. There's a number of ways you could do this, but the way I'm going to show you is firstly by making another copy of this photo. So again, just by holding down control, I'm just going to drag another copy of that photo on. Now to achieve the effect I'm after, I'm just going to make this photo entirely black. So I can do that by clicking on the fill here and selecting black. Now although this looks rather weird at the moment, I'm actually going to use a transparency tool so I can have this edge down here dark and then going very quickly to being totally transparent. So if I grab my transparency tool at the top, once you've got the transparency tool selected you can then drag a transparency effect and this is going from being opaque in the bottom left to being transparent just above it. Now if I just grab my select tool again I can then position this over the other objects. Now at the moment this transparency is actually over my page curl so I can just send that back one and that's it. Of course this does use some quite advanced techniques but it does enable you to create a very realistic page curl to your photos.